No. Hello, folks. Welcome to the channel with myself, Al Pal. Here we are in Nightmare Shift. Um, thanks to the devs for sending us a key to this one, although it is already on a, out on a playlist, a playtest, sorry, so you can test it for yourself. Uh, there's a link in the description. Uh, Nightmare Shift is a psychological horror game uh, that follows a female protagonist who starts a new job as a model receptionist, only to find her life spiralling into a dark and mysterious reality. As she questions her sanity, she must uncover the truth beyond the eerie and abnormal events around her. That word sounds pretty good, considering it's coming up for Halloween, and we so let's give it a go. I can't shut this music off, I hope I'm not in trouble for this. There's nothing on it at all. So, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I do love a good horror game. <laughs> the finger points run hello This will be my first night shift at the motel. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Night one, motel. I can't read that, it's too small. It's a bit, this grainy stuff, it is, um, I have turned that off. I don't like that. I don't like the grainy stuff in itself. Uh, can't do nothing about the music though. No, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay. History Route 68 Motel, let's go in. You know, I'm just going to tweak that a little bit. Where are we? Is that there? I feel like I've done too much actually, but there you go. Okay, uh, right, what have we got in here? Oh, there's someone in there. Oh, look at my leg. Dexy! Go on, girl, let's go and sort it out. Evening. I'm Emma. I guess I'm the new night shift worker. Welcome, Emma. I'm Anderson. Don't worry. You'll get the hang of it. It's pretty quiet around here, though sometimes it can get interesting. So here's the rundown. You'll mostly be checking in late arrivals and dealing with the usual guest requests. Keep the front door locked after midnight. We get some odd folks wandering in from the highway. Keep it locked. If the phone rings, answer it. Don't be surprised if it's just a prank call. Happens a lot. Oh, and keep an eye on the CCTV monitors. They can be your best friend or your worst nightmare. Well, mate, anything else you want to put on to me? Is that it all? Seems easy. Seems like I'll need about 20 hands. You'll also need to keep the rooms clean, do laundry, <laughs> and repair any appliances that might go on the fritz. Is he taking me? Consumables mix? in the rooms, towels, soaps, that kind of stuff need to be refilled too all the supplies you'll need are in the storage room down in the basement it's a bit of a jack of all trades gig so i need to do all of that top up all the consumables while i'm watching the monitors keep the front door locked man the reception and the phones gotcha. got it sounds manageable I yeah think. Does, anything else it? i should know i'm gonna sweep the car park while we're in here well, this place has its quirks. Room three, for example. 
Sometimes guests report strange noises, but there's never anyone there. I'm out. That's me done then. See you, mate. <laughs> Where's the CCTV monitor? Yeah, you would expect it to be up here or around here somewhere, wouldn't you? But uh, where is the storage room located? Where is the CCTV monitor? It is exactly behind you. It will be clearly visible for you when you take my place. Um. Where is the storage room located? It is in the basement. Use the door that is behind me to go down there. The basement. It's better, doesn't it? Um, it seems all seems clear. Seems all clear. Yeah. All right, I'm out of here. You'll be fine, Emma. Just stay calm and call me if you need anything. Can't you stay here and help right, us on Emma, our first night? This is it. Just a quiet night. Nothing you can't handle. But why does this place feel so off? Whose suitcase here? Yeah, I really look. It does feel weird in here, doesn't it? Does the bell work? Hello, how are you? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Would you like a room? What, your prices? Yes. <laughs> What's that? What have we got down here? You took the flashlight. That makes a lot work, doesn't it? Okay, uh, no, we're not turning that on. It's the first night, nice little light. Okay, uh, the monitor. Oh, I've got a moment to see that. So the grainy effect we turn off is still on, actually, but... So that's the main gate, all right. Want me to go and shut the gates? Just say we're shut. And then 10 minutes before he comes in in the morning to see if you've had a good night, we'll open them again. I'm a bit concerned about this music that's going on. Um, we've got three keys left up here. I've got a bit of a map going on. Camping adventure. He's having a laugh, isn't he? We've got to go down there. See, now, to go down there, I'd, I'd want to lock that door. In case someone comes up and locks it. It reminds me of something else, actually. I can't remember what it is. Um, so here we've got all the sponges. We've got soaps up here. A bit of scoff or something up here. What's that? Beef. Beef stew. Vegetable soup. Mmm, I like that. Oh! All right, all right, you only do it at once. There it is, my first guest. Just smile, be professional, and make a good impression. You've Dude, got this. You've got your head upside down. Good evening, sir. How can I serve you? Good evening, young lady. I'd like a room for the night if you have one available. Look how his hands are, look. He's dodgy, isn't he? He's really dodgy. He's going to pull a summit out. He's all ready. Of course. Let me get you checked in. I used to work nights, too, back in the day. It can be a bit unsettling when you're all alone, but you'll get used to it. Just keep your wits about you, and don't let your mind play tricks on you. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, you just here for a room. Remember that, all right? Thanks for the advice. It's my first night, so I'm still getting used to everything. Be careful, though. The nights can be unpredictable. Yes. You never know yeah. who might walk through that Thank door. Thank you. Trust your instincts, and if something feels off, it probably is. Something is feeling off. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, sir. Good girl. Now get me a room with a view of the parking lot. I like to keep an eye on things. Good girl. Does he want a dry one? Room one is available. Could you please wait a few minutes to make sure that everything is ready for you, sir? Sure thing. Take your time. I will be waiting here. I'll be concerned about your head, mate. It looks a bit dodgy to me. Uh, right. Check if room one is ready for the guest. Um, how, how do we, um... Room one? Well, we've got a key. It's hard to see, though, isn't it? That's room one. We'll take that. 
picked up the wrong key. I do give him the key, do we? Have I got to go and check? Don't you move. Sudden change in the sound. Yeah, I don't like that. That's a bit iffy, isn't it? The only thing I don't like about the game so far is the film grain. But I'm liking the game. It's just, it, it, it seems like there's too much of it, the film grain. I don't know. Or I'm looking for a camcorder or something, you know? But other than that, yeah, it seems alright. Someone's bags are in here. Well, it seems alright. Examine. You have a new objective for us to tab. Oh, hang on. Dear new colleague, I've managed to clean the room before my shift ends. Uh, you will need to prepare the bathroom by bringing the following items. So, one toilet paper roll. Uh, two, we need toothpaste. Three toothpaste. Uh, sorry, toothpaste, toothbrush. Soap. Now, uh, you can find everything in the storage room and the basement reception. So, toilet paper. Toothbrush, toothpaste, soap and towel. Nice. Get on with that. Then. We had that the other day, didn't we? What was that in? That's Rem Survival, wasn't it? That's it. Need a soap. There's soap there. All right, just wipe it around the toilet bowl a few times and put it back. He won't give us any bother. Uh, let's leave that open actually. So, toilet paper, toothpaste, toothbrush, soap. God, what was it? And a towel, wasn't it? Was it soap? Soap and a towel. Yeah, gotcha. You know, you get that feeling when. Like someone's watching you. That's what I'm getting right now. Hmm. Just get a few bits for you, Monsieur. Don't go near this door. You got that? Well, the top of your head is going to get very red and very sore very quick. I'm going to hit it. <laughs> oh, Benny Hill does. You know the quick. <laughs> right. We've got an ironing ball down there. We've got washing machines. Busted up table. Okay. Right. Round this side. So. That's a towel. Toilet paper. Toothpaste. Toothbrush. Soap. Oh my God, I've got what it was now. Soap. I've got a towel. I think that was it, wasn't it? Well, I'm missing something here. Um, toothbrush, toothpaste, we got that. Soap. How? I'm sure there's something missing. What's that? I don't want them three. We'll go up. All right. If I've missed it, it will tell me, will it? I'll have to come back down. Do you even a minute, John? Put your hands down. You look very shifty. I'll leave the door open. I'm a bit iffy about that, but it should be all right. Soap. So where does the, uh, the toothpaste go then? Now? Remove. Oh, for God's sake. I 
I thought it would take it out. It's, oh, look, I've got stilettos on. Oi, oi. Hello, love. She ain't got no sprout bags, though, has she? The fishnet things, you know, the ones that make your arse like a waffle. Well, they do, don't they? <laughs> uh, so I've got to get that towel again. Uh, just check. Well, that was it. It was just that we had everything. Yeah. So I've got to go back and get a towel. Oh, things I do for people. Morning. Someone stole a towel, mate. I've just got to get you a towel. Well, it didn't put it back, though, did it? Where did they go, then? Even a minute, mate. Just start counting your money. You're going to need it. There we go. Um, now, the toothpaste. I can't. Keep your teeth shiny. Yeah, polish them. There we go. We've done it then. One, two, three. Oh, hang on. Carsey paper. Room's all set. Yeah. Not too bad for my first time. I'll say done a good job there, Trick. Oh, oh freaking hell, you fuck! What are you doing? Here? What are you doing? <sighs> Jeez. Remember what I told you about that, Ed? Look at the face. Like, oh, you need a dry slap, you do. I'm sorry, my dear. I didn't mean to frighten you. You were taking a while, and I just wanted to check on you, make sure everything was all right. Don't bother. It's fine. I just wasn't expecting you to be here so soon. The room's all set now. Leading around the common a lot, that. Okay, well, the room is ready for you. I'll leave the key on the table here. Good night. Thanks. Good night to you, too. That gave me a scare. Yeah. To stay sharp tonight. He has got a face like a smacked arse, though, hasn't he? I'll reverse that if you don't mind, John. Dodgy ass. I haven't given him the key. Oh my god, that really got me, that did. That, that, that was good, though. That was good how they done that. One up for the Debs on that one. I like that. Okay. Get the CCTV and try to switch between cameras. Um, oh, I didn't give him the key. Put the room key on the table. Oh, I've got to go back. Well, I'm just going to walk in. Morning. Who ate the key? De la table. Monsieur de plomb plomb. I need to calm down. A cup of coffee should help me shake this off. <laughs> need to calm down. <laughs> it's not her, it's me. Oh, my God. I've touched cloth. Okay. Get the CCTV, right. Let's have a little look at that. Change channel. Let's see what's happening around the motel. Yeah. Cameras look clear for now. They look all right. Just a quiet night, right? You need to calm yourself down. Have a cup of rosy and sit on the sit on your chair. Put your feet up. Number five. We're gonna put it on number one. Well to watch that dude. Well, there's nothing else you can do. It's only they're all the same. Little swimming pool there, though. It's all right, isn't it? It's not a bad gaff. Right, let's leave it on there. Sit on the reception chair to calm down. Take a look at the storage room in the boat. Well, yeah, we've done that. Right, you calm yourself, girl. Now you sit the wrong way. There you go. Get your eyes on that monitor. There you go. My God, what is that? A gravy. Ah, put your feet up. Yeah, enjoy it. What's that? I thought I saw something in that window. Why do I've got a feeling that something's going to happen up there? Because we can see the gates, can't we, on both of them? Something's... Oh, look. Some guys are coming in. Quick, have some gravy. <sighs> it, now that is shifty, isn't it? What's your what's your effort? What's your what's your effort? <laughs> what you here for and what's your issue? What's your effort? 
All oh, right, come on, what's How can I help you? I need a room. It's been a long night, and I'm beat. Muck about me, mate, and you'll be beat. You got that? I'll beat you. Okay, I'll just need you to fill out this form, please. Come on, it's late. Can't we skip all this? I just need a place to crash. Oi! Who are you talking to? You talk to a lady like that? With stilettos and sprat bags on? What's the matter with you? I'm sorry, but we have to follow procedures. It'll just take a minute. If you don't like it, shut the gate behind you. It's a simple room. Why are you making this complicated? Just give me the key. I'll pay and we're good. I understand, but I'm new here and I can't skip the check-in process. It's... it's the rules. You're new? Great. So now I have to deal with someone who doesn't even know what they're doing? Baseball bat. I've been enough of this one. I know what I'm doing, sir. I just have to follow the steps. It won't take long, I promise. If you don't like it, go. Yeah, sure. More rules. What is it with people like you? Always sticking to the book, no flexibility. I'll show you flexibility in a minute. Your legs are going to go around your neck. If you don't want to stay, you're free to go somewhere else. That's it, sweetheart. You but tell him. Do you know what? Forget it. I don't need this. Go on, then. I'm sorry it's taking time, but I can't bend the rules just because it's late. You'll regret this. Don't think you can huh? push everyone around just because you're behind that counter. You talk... He's a big geezer, isn't he? All right. You talking to me? Please leave if you're not checking in. This place is a joke. You're going to regret how you treated me. Get out. Move it, move it. Watch it. Don't walk into that wall. The hell's... Old guy. Did he do the cutthroat signal? He did, didn't he? Don't get run over by a car. We'd hate to see the mess. And we've got no sponges left. He threatened. He threatened me, didn't he? He did. He threatened me. Oh, God, he's gone. He just poofed. He poofed and he went. He's a poofer. Good evening, History Route 68 Motel. How can I help you? Do you know what happens to girls who work alone at night? Oh, God, here we go. Is this supposed to be a joke? Because I've heard better. <laughs> Tell him, sweetheart. Oh, but I'm just getting started. Aren't you scared? Alone in that empty motel. Who knows what could happen? Waiting for you. Big boy. You know, I've got better things to do than listen to some wannabe horror movie villain. If you're not here to book a room, I'm hanging up. Really, he's not even here. Hang up if you want, but I'll be seeing you real soon, Emma. Emma? How does he know that? Uh, how do you know my name? You gave it to me when you answered the phone. Aren't you supposed to introduce yourself? Listen, if this is your idea of fun, you're wasting both of our time. All right, all right. I'll let you get back to your night, for now. But remember, the night is long, and who knows what could happen. Good night. Oh my Seriously. God. A prank call? It's the last thing I need tonight. But is it? We've had the dude doing the cutthroat in the window and... Someone at the door. Oh my God. Whoa. I think I'm safer in the basement. Who is it this time? If this is another prank... Chill. Oh, I'm sorry to bother you, dear. It's me, the old man from room one. I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I just had a strange call earlier. What can I do for you? Well, I didn't want to trouble you, but I've been hearing some odd noises coming from room three, and just now I noticed some strange flickering lights there. It's probably nothing, but I thought you should know. Thank you for letting me know. I'll go check it out right away. Please don't worry. I'll handle it. No, get someone else to do it. Don't you do it, girl. Oh, God. Check room three. It's vacant, though, isn't it? Take a look at the strange room in the basement. Storage room. 
What the? Dust. What? Did you hear that? I think the door's just shut. Must be the other door. I heard the door. Did you hear that? Take a look at the storage. What's up with the storage, Em? What have I missed down here? That's, oh, that's better. Makes light work, doesn't it? Take a look at the storage room in the basement. Yep, yeah, we're here. What have I missed down here? Right, we've got a fuse box. Remember that. Something naughty's going to happen in here in a minute, I'll tell you. I feel like something's going to happen in a minute, and I'm right on edge. I really am. Coffee, beans, salt, sugar, whatever it is. And that's what I'm supposed to be looking at. It clearly wants me to do something, doesn't it? Can you hear that noise? Maybe I've got to do that. Maybe I've got to check stuff. I'm sure I'm hallucinating. Thought I saw something. Oh my God, what's that black bit on the end of it? Well, they've been cleaning with that. Right. Oh, hang on, look, look, what's that in there? Oh, it's just a light. What? I don't know what it wants me to do, so... Take a look at the strange room. In the basement, we have. We can't. I can't do anything else. I don't think I've missed anything, have I? Nothing on the floor. Oh well. It's still there. All right, let's go and check it out. I'm a bit concerned being being a lady, you know. That dude that threatened me right there. Oh, jeez, look at that. It's a bit too bright, though, isn't it? The pool's empty. Cool. Don't feel safe. What the? There's no curtains on it, it's nothing. Hello? Hello? It's empty in here. No light switch. Oh, look! It's a little pervy hole. That means I've got no light switch. I can't. What is it, man? Uh, 
That's not well, is it? That's a wrong one, that is. Oh, oh, sugar. Great. What a lucky night. I, I touched it and it just went pop. Um, I don't know if I want to go out there or not. Let me check it in here again. Why is there no light switch that? That's bugging me alone, that is. Why do I think there's a face going to come up on here or something? Okay. And we can't open them. No, right, let's go back. I don't like it in here. So has she got to get a light bulb she now? Or... Take a look at the storage room. Go to the basement and turn on the... Oh, it's... Right, that's all right. I thought the bulb would... Ah! Ah! Jesus, wept! What's the matter with you, you bald-headed coot? Let me talk just done a runner. Quick! Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, stop it. I'm not in the nude. Oh. A shadow. Am I seeing things? Maybe it's just my mind playing tricks. Hello? What do you want? Just a poor little lady on my own down here. He looks dodgy as, doesn't he? Oh my god. Oh, it's him. We want. Hey, Emma. Shift's over for you. I'm back early. Figured I'd check in a little sooner. How was your first night? I don't want to talk about it. Honestly, a lot creepier than I expected. There were strange noises, prank calls, and oh, the power went out. I had to go to the basement to fix it. Welcome to the night shift. It can be bit unsettling your first time around, but you get used to it. Did everything go all right with the power? Yeah, but I thought I saw a shadow down there. At first I freaked out thinking it was a stranger, but now I realize it was just you, wasn't it? Yep, that was me. I came in early, saw the lights flicker, and figured I'd head down to check on things. Guess a bit? I thought I was going crazy down there. Oops. I should have said something. Yeah, you should have done. Didn't want to interrupt the hero moment. But hey, you handled it like a pro. What's with the hands? Your hands are bigger than your head. <laughs> yeah, well, next time maybe don't be the mysterious shadow figure, okay? Deal. Anyway, your shift's over. Go ahead and wait for your bus. I'll take over from here. This was just my first night. And it already feels like I'm in a bad horror movie. Any chance of a lift down, mate? Just hope tomorrow isn't as bad. That there was a dude there that he was threatening me. He, he was making threats on my life. Oh, was about shit. Stuff it. Don't worry about it. I'll get my cell phone. Bus is here. Oh. God, I'll tell you what, that game gets me on the edge at times. It's always someone's foot. That's that dude, isn't it? It's him. I recognise his shoes. Night two. I don't think we're going to be alive by night three. I think that'll be the end of us by then. Very intriguing.
you're looking at the bus stop for? You alright, girl? Oh, jeez. Night one, apartment. Oh, this this is getting off the bus now. All right. Oh my God, you live here. All the windows are open. Look, it must stink in there. Oh my God, it's worse than the basement, isn't it? What's that down there? Oh, it's just a curtain or something. Uh, 79135. Door code. I'll write my apartment code in case I forgot it. 79135. We got it. Uh, reach your building. Right. I, I don't know what one's ours. Is That's like storage wars, isn't it? This is. What are you looking at? Is my night? It is only my imagination. That's no, not. Well, where's my door then? There it is. I'm saving up for furniture. My first job, you see. Oh, jeez. My God, if you ain't creepy, I don't know what is. There it is. I thought it was coming up. What's things in here? Well, that's not good, is it? I'll, I'll leave the elevator open, I think. Because I've got to do a run in it. Oh my god, this is getting me right on the edge, I'll tell you. It's going to be right at the end, isn't it? Investigate someone breaking into your apartment. Seems someone was trying to enter my apartment. It's that dude downstairs, isn't it? Right. Seven, nine, one, three, five. I wrote the door code on a paper in case I forget it. Don't worry about it, you're indoors now. Whether we're alone in here, there's another thing. Where's all the light switches look? That noise. Can you hear that? Wallpaper's falling off, look. I have to get that dude back to do that. What's going on here? The old Atari look. I had one of them, they're brilliant. Uh oh. Is someone there? Torch. Torch. Get it, go quick. Oh. My God, can you put that back on? But you can't move here. 
No lights. Oh, there is one. This is dodgy, isn't it? This is this is not well. Oh, jeez! It's just a rat. A rat? You see the size of that? It's big enough to go work. It was huge. Oh my god, um... Ah! Damn. Morning. Mother. I don't remember that I left the window open. I don't remember I put that thing up there. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought there was going to be something in there. So none of the... None of the lights are working. Now I can breathe. I thought someone is in my apartment. There is. There, there is. I'm, I'm not convinced. Oh, my God. Chloroform. Well, that's not good. Got with that dude, isn't it, downstairs? He does look shifty. There you go, that's it. Well, I'm glad I didn't stream it. I thought it was going to be longer than that. Well, there's a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, you can apply. The playtest is still live. So you can apply. Um, just click the link and you'll get a, uh, you'll get access. Um, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I look forward to that one coming out. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Till next time, from myself, Al Pal, look after yourself and I'll see you all soon. Not half an hour.